Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. The timing of that is rather convenient. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. I always attract this much attention? Until you lose them, yes. Cheeky little fucker, ain't he? Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Let's pop in and say hello, shall we? Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Can you say paranoid? To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Got it.
This fellow is rather obsessive when it comes to rigging traps. You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Of course. Easy peasy. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. One more muscle chief and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right, let's not get dramatic. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? <laughs> Ouch. Think more countercultural. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Wait! Just wait! Albion knows you're in London! Killing me won't change that! Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't <sighs> you? Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, Cass is worse than you know. Trust me, we know. Jesus, why else would I be here? Maybe, cause Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merc's work. We want your help. There's no love lost between us and Cass. He's behind the bombings, he tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what- Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. Move the table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! Oh, 
It has cleared the checkpoint. Over. Auto drive now enabled. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. Alright, Chief. That was a pretty slick escape. I believe you. So I'll say this. Nigel is planning something, and I don't think I could stop him on my own. If dead sex everything I've heard, you'll help me. We can help each other. There's a chance Cass had something to do with the bombings. What could he be... ...planning that's worse than that? No, no, that's not like him. Well, not exactly. See, Nigel's got to see himself as the hero. He's an arrogant twat, but he's not a cynic. Every place we go into, he... We would have some mad plan to fix all his problems with robot police or automated crop fertilizing or some shit. Society was a technical problem, and people are just bugs in the software, you know? You work around them or you squash them. Sorry, Chief. I gotta switch proxy servers so they don't trace me. I'll hit you right back on voice. Listen, I've got an inside man, right? A contact in Albion. Says Nigel's got this big meeting happening at White Tower. He'll be talking about a major project he's got planned for London. What we need is an insider on the team. I've always wanted to be in on a caper. Okay, first things first. We'll need eyes on the impregnable target, so off you go. I'll crack on with assembling the right personnel to round out this ragtag bunch of misfits. Ah, shit. I'll be inside with security sniffing my proxy IP. Must have traced the detonator signal. I've got to deal with this.
Nigel Cass's meeting will begin soon. Approach the Tower of London when you're ready. If we're lucky, word hasn't spread that you've hung up your jackboots. Just try to put on your meek, harmless, broken by the system face. Oh, and don't forget your uniform. Looking sharp. Your ex-colleagues won't pay any attention to you unless you let them take a close look. A word of caution now we're inside. Any disturbance in here and Nigel Cass will surely cancel his meeting. Avoid being detected by your former colleagues or this operation is a bust. You know what to do. Nigel won't have anything important on this floor. You Cass expert, you. You seen his puller profile or something? Yeah. I was Albion too, if you hadn't twigged to that. Me and Cass were close once. Looked up to him. <sighs> He was bigger than life, fam. Literally a tech genius. And I was just a gearhead kid. I wanted to be like him. That's why I joined up. Give me a break. Didn't find out he was a murderous prick until later. The All right, let's wrap this up. Target practice. Everything is proceeding on schedule, and Mr. Cass is as determined as ever to make the White Tower as safe as possible from terrorist attacks. I believe he has ensured that every security measure has been properly taken so that we are all well protected. As he likes to say, there's nothing more valuable than our people. That's quite admirable. Even that, then we come here. They're down close to the force company. Like I am fine enough to do. Need a 
I heard someone saying dead sex. not here for They better not be. Just a bunch of terrorists. This door clearly requires a security pass. Wonderful. Use one of the nearby computers to create your forgery. Be careful. You don't want to know what Nigel does with trespassers. You can have the there's some parts of the city that would work. We got a high cut bar defense. You understand? Yeah, I know what you mean. But there's always an element. I'm done with you. But I thought you'd taken care of them now. You mean dead set? I've heard some talk on the street that they may be back. It'll take some time for the forgery to be ready. To keep you occupied, I dragged up still images and a recording from an internal investigation into Cassini's death. Let's see it. Internal Psych Assessment AS001 Subject Cass Nigel. Mr. Cass experienced a deeply traumatic event when he witnessed the murder of his father, Gareth Cass, CEO of Albion. He began exhibiting symptoms soon after what he frequently described as the random event. Mr. Cass's initial symptoms included insomnia, paranoia, distorted blame and recurring flashbacks. However, he appears to have channeled his anger and self-described powerlessness into his work to ensure that Albion become, quote, a mechanism for preventing unpredictable violence. It seems somewhat of a mania edging on psychosis. For me, this raises concerns about Mr. Cass's fitness to run a multinational security company. But I cannot, at this time, make any recommendation beyond continued monitoring, especially considering that I have been asked to close this file. Oh, my. I'm not one to make light of one's mental health, but Cass clearly has issues. And he's been put in charge of keeping London safe. Yeah, well, Nigel's never close to anyone but his dad. And me, I guess. Never had much faith in people, really. Well, the pass is ready, but rough. If this resistance thing doesn't work out, I doubt you'll make a living as a document forger. Let's give it a go anyway. Nigel Cass awaits. Who would send me this? I'm walking around inside a microwave. I swear we're just going to drop dead one day. How's it going? See, the big ten. How are you getting on with those metrics? The deadline is coming up quick. You wouldn't do to miss it. He's presenting to the stakeholders right now. I know, I know, but if I mess this up, then the whole project is delayed. I don't know how. So we are ten minutes into our Don't trip. even joke about this. I don't even want to think about what Director Casper did. Just, just make sure you get it done. Welcome to Project Themis. Our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They can go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively. Without your support, I couldn't stand here and tell you. But I promise you, that with the launch of Project Emmys, London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Mr. Cass, I was hoping you called us all in here today to discuss the ethical issues. <laughs> No, it's all right, the Commissioner cares, as we all do. I admire his, his passion and his dedication. Let's talk ethics. Well, for one, Themis goes far beyond Albion's mandate. We really should have more government consultation. I see. Delay the launch so that we can debate and assess the details. We're missing the human element here. I can get the Defence Minister on the line right now. Well, if you feel you must.
It's the human element that got us into this. No more debate, delay, indecision. Understand this. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. Now, will our friends at Tidus be ready? You are the cornerstone of the project after all. Do you need to consult any outside parties? Uh, no, we'll be ready. And just in time. Criminals running our streets, illegals threatening our families, the police commissioner himself, assassinated by terrorists. Decisiveness is hard, but here's the best part. Once this decision is made, no more will be required of you. Attention, a building-wide security sweep has been initiated due to dock breach. I warned you about that, forgery. Your uniform will help. Don't let them get a close look at you. How the bloody hell do I get out of here, Bangs? The catacombs, fam. We pulling just anyone off the street. Anyone can be with a gun in hand. It's crass. He does seem in a hurry to launch this Themis project. None of what I've heard is comforting. Damn. Drinks are on me. one bit. 